sponsor of the first North American Endurance Championship. Uh, we had previously announced the championship. It's a three race special competition that encompasses the Rolex 24 at Daytona, the sail in six hours of the Glen at Watkins Glen on July 1st, and the first ever super weekend at the Brickyard when Grand Am joins NASCAR Sprint Cup Series and NASCAR Nationwide Series in Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Our race, the Grand Am race, will be on July 27th. Um, with us today, we have the CMO of Visit Florida, Will Seckham, the uh, CEO of w Visit Florida, Chris Thompson, uh, Tom Bledsoe, Grand Am president, and a couple of our uh, key competitors in the Rolex series, co-drivers, number 40, Visit Florida, Mazda, RX-8, of Dempsey Racing, we have Patrick Dempsey and Joe Foster. A quick acknowledgement of some other uh, gentlemen who are here. We have Michael Printup of uh, President Watkins Glen, Mark Dill and Doug Bowles, Vice Presidents at Indianapolis. Jerry Krisiloff, he's a Director of Marketing at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and Sean Belgrade, the VP, right here at Daytona International Speedway. They'll be available after uh, this event in the room outside of the main uh, media center, if anybody has some questions for them. Uh, we're going to start off with a uh, quick opener from Tom Bledsoe. And then we're going to go right to questions. Tom, go ahead and give us your initial thoughts on this announcement. Thank you, Herb. Uh, this is uh, really exciting for me. It's something we've been working on for a little while. Um, uh, we, uh, we're really excited about uh, this uh, particular championship. Uh, it adds a lot uh, to the existing series. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. Uh, it includes uh, some, of our, some of our best historic iconic tracks. Thank you, Michael, Joey, and Mark, Jeff Belskis, uh, for uh, letting us do this. Um, real excited about it. And a perfect partner in uh, visitflorida.com. Our headquarters for Grand Am and NASCAR uh, is obviously here in Florida. So it's a perfect match, and we appreciate it. Yes, sir. Maybe we'll uh, hear some quick opening words from both Chris and Will. Go ahead, gentlemen. Uh, I guess I'll open up saying uh, we're real excited about being here. Uh, travel to Florida is aspirational for many, many people around the country and around the world. Uh, certainly Grand Am has great reach and relevance uh, uh, around the country and, and around the world. Uh, excited to be associated with Dempsey Racing uh, and Mazda. Um, and um, uh, looking forward to a great weekend. I um, think there's a lot of things that we can uh, do together, and certainly it's a great platform for us to talk about all the wonderful things that are to see and do here in the state of Florida, not the least of which is the ability for folks to come and enjoy uh, quality racing experiences uh, all over the state. Will? Well, we, we, uh, we just drove in from the little drizzle, and we expect that uh, we'll be able to bring some sunshine uh, to, to Daytona tomorrow and to share that with people around the world. And what better way than uh, working with our partners at Mazda, working with our partners at Dempsey Racing, and the shared little sunshine number 40, which is uh, really going to be out and about uh, throughout this series, and, and certainly with the Endurance Championship to bring a high profile to our team and to, to our state. Uh, again, as Chris said, 82 million people visit Florida every year on their vacations and, uh, and meetings and events like this. And there's all we need is to, to remind them. And this is a, a great opportunity for us as a, in promoting the number one travel destination in the world to be in front of a lot of really, really passionate fans. And that's, I think, why we are uh, most excited about partnering with Grand Am and uh, certainly uh, so excited about our partnership with Mazda and the Dempsey Racing Team. And maybe now from uh, Patrick and Joe, just uh, some quick opening comments. Make sure that mic's clicked on. Yeah, thank you. Uh, as you can see how bright our uniforms are, we bring the sun <laughs> in even when it's cloudy. Our car will be out on the track. You can see it going around. We're really thrilled with how that's turned out. Thank you very much, our partners. Our second year, uh, Visit Florida, share a little sunshine. Couldn't be happier. Um, always coming into Florida, I go in through Orlando, and it's amazing to me how many people you see from all around the world that come up and say hello. So it's so a real testament to that city and certainly 
Florida uh, attracting people from around the world. And uh, it's really great to be associated with Busy Florida and uh, share a little sunshine.org and our other partners, Mazda, we've had a great relationship with. We can't thank them enough. Uh, specialized bicycle is great cycling down here too. Great way to stay in shape. And of course, with the sun, solar power, Citrina Solar. So all those sponsors make it possible for us. Our partnerships are very important to us. And to continue on uh, after last year and then this year, we really thank you for that uh, support. Um, also looking for the championship. I think it's going to be great for everybody. I know everybody in the, in the paddock and all the drivers are very excited about this. It's a great opportunity. It's a championship within a championship. Uh, really puts a lot of uh, challenges to the teams and to the drivers and uh, hopefully just builds an audience for road racing in this country, which I think is, uh, for me, very exciting to watch and to be a part of. Uh, and um, it's great to be here for the 50th anniversary of this incredible event. Um, it's just really remarkable to see the depth of the GT field the the people that have been here and have made so much history and to honor them which is truly important to remember where we've come from and to look to where we're going so thank you thank you patrick and joe i definitely like to uh second the kind of the awe and respect we have for for, for this event and uh what a great opportunity it is for us as drivers and team owners to to partner with mazda and visit florida and grand am in in uh, helping promote not only the endurance series which i think will also bring hopefully other teams and drivers into the series because it's something that that uh, is a little bit more of a compact thing to do logistically so it's going to introduce a better car count to the series we're also excited as well to to take the visit florida message to all the markets that we go to and we'll be doing a lot of great activation activities in those markets and look forward to keeping the consumers engaged with with grand am engaged with mazda and engaged with visit florida throughout the year uh, in a much better you know way that can keep them and uh, as fans into the future all right, thanks, gentlemen. We're going to take a few questions. If you have one, raise your hand. We'll come around with wireless mics. Name and affiliation, please. <laughs> Holly Kane with FoxSports.com. Patrick, it's kind of a two-part question. One, if you, you kind of spoke about the, the history of this event, and, and I know this has been something you've had your eye on for many years. If you could kind of speak to that a little bit more. And secondly, you know, as a celebrity of people that come up to you and want to meet you and ask you questions, if you could name one or maybe two drivers that have competed in the last 50 years in this track, who would be the guy or woman you would want to go up to and speak to and uh, Pick their brain. Uh, Dan Gurney, certainly. Yeah. I think he's a remarkable man and um, designer of cars and a racer of that generation. Won the first racer in 62, I believe, right? Hurley Haywood's another one who's out there actively racing right now, which is remarkable. Um, those are two people you want to sit down and have a cup of coffee with and talk to, certainly. And then um, A.J. Foyt's here, too, which is another incredible... I, I would say icon in the sport, uh, certainly. And, uh, and the list goes on. That's a remarkable thing. Everybody wants to be here. You look at who's here from around the world as well. Yeah. F1 drivers, everybody, it's, it's pretty remarkable. So if you had the time, you'd want to sit down with everybody. But uh, certainly Dan Gurney, I think, is really uh, is remarkable and, and deserves more due than he's received already, quite honestly. And uh, it's great that he's here. And his son uh, is, is such a great representation of who he is as a father. I think he's done a remarkable job, and what a gentleman he is, too. So it's nice to see his generation here, and, and, and that's really quite beautiful. Thank you for that. More questions for our uh, table here. Right here, go ahead, please. Uh, Jonathan Ingram from Autosport. Uh, this is for Joe Foster. Uh, Joe, the points for this uh, endurance championship are, are awarded in a rather unique way. Endurance racing is generally about surviving uh, and making it to the finish. Uh, points will be uh, awarded in segments of the 24 hour. Is that gonna change the way you approach the race at all or is it just a matter of the, let the points fall where they may? Well, certainly all the, the uh, there's no doubt that the uh, uh, steam is coming out of the ears of all the strategists in the paddock right now based on some of the, the yellow flag changes and points and all kinds of stuff. So it's kind of good, actually, I think, to throw a few wrenches into the, into the system. It's not quite like we're a Saturday night late model or inverting the start or anything, but it's definitely keeping it uh, exciting. And uh, certainly you have to make the best you can at any one time with the package you've got of team and car and drivers and, and uh, in our case, uh, for our particular case, to be honest, it's not going to change our plan too much because you know, we're going to
gonna we're gonna be the tortoise and we're just like we were last year and try to be as fast as we can at the end of the race. It's all about you know the, the last couple three hours and and uh, uh, we had a wonderful Cinderella story last year on that and we'll certainly try to, to recreate that. But uh, based on how the the yellow flag strategy is and, and and the points, I think we're just gonna run you know our own race. But I can see the steam coming out of the ears of some of the of the guys now trying to figure it all out. So it's cool. Keeps it keeps it fresh. We have time for a couple more. Joe, we're coming to you. Joe Jennings, Racing Nation. For Patrick and Joe, you've raced at here and you've raced at the Glen, but you have not raced at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. What is the significance to you of uh, racing there for the first time? Oh, it's, it's fantastic we're going there. Are you kidding me? That's a great road course and a great history once again. It fits in perfectly with uh, these tracks that have so much history. Uh, everyone is very excited to be there. I haven't had a chance to test there. I'm looking forward to that. But once again, really, uh, it's nice to, to have that inspiration and to have a track with so much history, so much soul. Um, and you feel that when you're there, certainly uh, just watching the races. But to participate and being out on the track um, is really you know, very moving, and um, we're thrilled to be going there. All right. Gentlemen, thank you for uh, your time. Thanks for the questions, everybody. Great announcement. It's going to be a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Just a quick housekeeping item. Um, during our press conferences, a uh, number of times we have photographers coming right in front of the table.